hello and welcome to English Show Experience. I'm E.T. Tutor and this is Examiner's Tales. So in this video I'm focusing in on GCSE English Literature and although I examine for AQA I work with students who study from a variety of exam boards and this applies to everyone for everyone. Oh, it's probably one of the most common questions that I'm asked in relation to English literature. How many quotes do I need to learn? And I'm sure I'm annoying you already because I'm sure you've probably asked your teacher, they've given you a very vague response, told you you need to know the novel or the play very well. Um, sorry, sorry guys, girls, but... I'm going to say the same. There's no use me saying you need to learn 10 quotes from Animal Farm, for example. Be great if you need 10. Be great if you need 20. Only you know how many you are capable of learning. And this will vary probably from uh, text to text. If you like one, you're more likely to be able to remember more of them. Um, so I'm not going to tell you an amount either, but what I am going to say is if there's no quotes, there's absolutely no way you're going to be able to, if there was no quotes throughout the whole of your uh, literary text analysis, then you're going to be hard pushed to make it past a level two to three. If you fill your response full of quotes and there's nothing else, you're going to be hard pushed to do well either. What you're looking for is the right quotations to accurately explore the points you are making. Um, now, dependent on the type of learner you are, you might find it really easy, you might find it more difficult. So I've got a really weird random tip and this is one that is more for my female viewers or any viewers who wear makeup. Um, it is to revise while you put your makeup on. Now you might be looking at me and thinking, she's finally lost the plot this time. But honestly, just imagine putting on your mascara from now, whenever it is, until the exam, and every time you do it, you say the same quotation. So I will do with the Seven Commandments. Whatever goes upon two legs is an enemy. Whatever goes upon two legs is an enemy. However you do your makeup. And, what I would recommend is that you do it the same, the same quotes for the same bit of makeup as you're doing it. It it will work. You'll be there in the exam and you'll be like, right, I need the seven commandments. Um, which one do I need? And you, you mentally will go through your face and be like, oh yeah, okay, that's the one I'm after. Well, it works for me. It worked for me during my GCSEs and A-levels and we did the same as you at that point in time. For the majority of papers we have to learn everything. We close book like you are, we're not allowed to take it in. And um, yeah, it worked for me, I don't know. Maybe somebody else has got some wacky ideas of how to learn the quotations, something different from just keep copying them out or just keep listening to them. Uh, oh yes, I know another one. And this is um, one that I have mentioned to my nephew in the past, who is an avid gamer. And one of the things that I've come to realise, because I've got a lot of gamers in my life, is that the X, uh, Xbox One seems to be constantly needing updates. Now, you might think I'm mad, but I, I, I beg you, from now until the exam, if you are playing on a game, you're going to put your Xbox on and it needs to update, just sit there and try and recite those quotations. Go and grab your piece of paper and do it. It's going to save you getting that pre-gamer rage because you can't get on the console. 
I don't know. Maybe, maybe I've gone mad. Maybe I've done too many examiner's tales, but yeah, give it a go. There's no set amount of quotations to learn. You just need useful ones that you're confident with and you know how to use them. Preferably ones that you know how to use for a few different points. And obviously trying to cover the main characters and cover the themes. All right then, best of luck. Put down those controllers and start doing some revision if you're not already. Okay then, bye for now.